Hello Gemini. Thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a how they feel about you reading. It's going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it will be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Gemini watching. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. All right, we're going to start with um, your person's current energies. Let me move this. Spirit. What messages do you have for Gemini regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? For Gemini, please, regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. For Gemini. All right. Let's see, Gemini. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments, so thank you. All right, Spirit, tell me about Gemini's person's current energies at this time. Gemini's person's current energies at this time. So we got serendipity that came out first. Serendipity, time for a nap. So expect the unexpected with this person, Gemini. With time for a nap, either your person is just exhausted or I feel like they, they've done everything they needed to do regarding a situation and are now just kind of taking a risk because as soon as I said that, come to the edge came out. This is very similar to the Fool card of the tarot. So this is someone who's ready to take a leap of faith here. With a leg up, I really get the sense that someone needs support or needs a support system right now. And I think it's because of what they've gone through. Um, something, your person has gone through something. <laughs> um, they're ready to take a leap of faith. I feel like whatever happens is going to be very unexpected. I don't think you're waiting for this or it's almost like it's going to take you by surprise. Whatever leap of faith this person takes, I feel like it's going to be towards you and it's going to take you by surprise. Um, now remember time is fluid so everything that i talk about today could have already happened in the past be happening now or happen in the future and um, feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more so let's see what else we can get let's see what are this person's thoughts or feelings towards you or this connection at this time spirit what are this person's thoughts or feelings towards gemini at this time this is the Animal Spirit deck. What, every deck that I'm using, I'm linking it in the description box. So check it out if you're interested. This is the Animal Spirit. Spirit. What does this person think about Gemini or this connection? What are their thoughts or feelings towards Gemini or this connection? What are their thoughts or feelings towards Gemini regarding this connection? Turtle, okay. Again, I'm getting the sense of, I just thought traveler. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but it's almost like this person has gone on some sort of journey and the turtle gains life experience um, as they learn and grow. Um, they're also kind of between land and water. So they're able to adapt. They, they go through transitions in life. I feel like, again, I'm getting the sense this person that you're dealing with Gemini has gone through something in their life that has taught them a lesson. Elk, beautiful. This is um, my King of Pentacles card in this deck. Uh, the elk is um, a provider, a leader, uh, a father figure, or just someone who um, is very family oriented, very dependable, um, strong, loyal as well. I feel like that's that's how this person is approaching you um, or that's what this person is working towards in order to approach you. It's almost like they need to bring their A game. That's what I just heard. What else can you tell us about this person and how they think or feel towards Gemini or this connection? I feel like this person knows that it's either they've grown into this person over time um, or this is just what they want to bring to you they want to be an equal partner 
or someone who also contributes, someone who provides for, for the family or provides for the home, someone who works hard. Um, beautiful, we got the fox. Just as I said that, this person is, is definitely thinking, um, the fox can be sneaky, yes, and they are tricky, um, but I, I see it in a more strategic way um, because the fox is a mate for life or you know they, they, they are family oriented and um, in a long-term commitment, usually the fox. So I am getting the sense that that's this person's intentions towards you is to be a lifelong partner, um, to be worthy of you. I feel like right now they don't feel that way. And I think it's because they are, they're worn out from what has happened to them. I feel like they're, they're trying to find their footing again. They're trying to re -st re, uh, find stability again. So let's see, what would this person tell you if they had the chance, Gemini? This is my handmade Oracle deck here. Let's see, what would this person tell you if they had the chance? And then we'll get into the tarot. Spirit, what would this person tell Gemini if they had the chance? What would they tell Gemini if they could speak to them right now? What would this person tell Gemini spirit? What would this person tell Gemini? You are my happy ending. So I, I, I am getting that sense of someone, and I think it's the person you're dealing with they've been thinking about emotional fulfillment. Um, that's what that card represents to me. Happy ending is like the 10 of cups energy. So it's where they feel like they could, once they have you, that's it. Like they'll be set. I think you're the missing piece in their life, Gemini. What else would this person tell Gemini at this time, Spirit? Let's see. Past life connection. So there's a strong connection between you and this person. You might have met in a past life and maybe when you met this person it felt very familiar um like you've met them before like you dealt with them before what else what would this person tell thank you i regret everything that happened so something happened between you two in the past or right now bottom of the deck you are always on my mind interesting So this is what this person would tell you, Gemini. It looks like they, they feel the connection with you. If you've been wondering if they also feel the same way or if they recognize that what you have is special, then yes, they do. Um, now, I don't think they've actually made any movements towards you. And I say that because I have serendipity here. Expect the unexpected. So it's something that you haven't been expecting is going to happen. So let's get into the tarot. Let's look at your connection at this time. Spirit, what does Gemini need to know regarding their connection with this person? What does Gemini need to know regarding their connection with this person's spirit? What does Gemini need to know? Regarding their connection with this person. Gemini need to know regarding their connection with this person. Three of Swords reversed. So some of you are in a third party situation. Um, a third party does not have to be another person. It could be um, anything that's interfering in the connection. Family member, friends, job, finances, distance. Um, I'm also seeing here that someone wants to heal this connection wants to overcome the pain that happened in your connection, whatever happened in the past. This person's thinking about healing it. Justice reversed, sign of Libra. Something here was unfair. Someone here was not using their judgment and making a decision. Um, justice reversed could also be karma. It could be lies. Someone not being honest with themselves or unable to see the truth 
of a situation. We're going to clarify all of these, but that's what I'm seeing so far. What else? What else is happening? What does Gemini need to know about this connection at this time? Wow, Five of Swords reverse. So someone here could be wanting to fix a situation, a conversation. It's almost like a conversation is playing in this person's head or a lack of conversation. Um, I feel like someone lost something and they want to recover it. Um, it could also be that this person, um, if they wanted to one up you or if they wanted to win in a situation, they didn't win. So if they chose someone else, it wasn't the right choice. If they chose a different path other than you, I think they're recognizing that they didn't win anything by doing that. If anything, it was an unfair situation. It was a situation where they weren't able to, they weren't thinking clearly when they made that decision. What else does Gemini need to know about this connection? Wow, Seven of Swords reverse Gemini. Someone here got caught doing something. The world reversed. Someone doesn't want this to end. Um, someone got caught doing something, either caught lying or caught trying to avoid a situation or sneak away from a situation. This could be with the partner they're with right now or the third party. Something with the third party could be involved here. Let me see if I can move you guys a little bit closer. Um, yeah, someone here definitely got caught doing something. Um, either you caught them, they were caught by someone else. Let's clarify and see. Bottom of the deck, I have the two of wands. So someone's trying to make a decision here of some sort. Um, trying to choose a path, evaluating the potential of two different paths. So it's almost like this person could handle this in two different ways or go down two different paths here. So let's clarify these. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Gemini. Someone doesn't want what happened between you to end. There was no closure here. Or this person, they're trying to end a cycle right now and they're unable to. We'll clarify and see. But something here has not been able to close or a new cycle. You know, I have the fool. It's almost like this person's ready for a new beginning, but they haven't had the chance to do that. So tell me about this Three of Swords reverse. Let's start there. Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse for Gemini, please, Spirit. What's this Three of Swords reverse about? The Devil reversed. A sign of Capricorn here. Someone's breaking free from the pain. Tell me more about this Three of Swords reverse. Breaking free from a third party as well. Wow, Six of Cups reversed, definitely. This person is still thinking about you or still stuck in the past in some way. Tell me more about this Three of Swords reverse, please. Ten of Wands, definitely. Someone here is putting down a burden regarding the past, regarding an unhealthy attachment. Um, I feel like they're healing from whatever happened or I feel like the need to fix this with you, Gemini, has been a burden for this person to the point where they've broken free from a third party situation. Tell me about the, whoops. tell me about the justice reversed. Okay. Eight of Pentacles came out up right here. Two of Cups. And Eight of Wands reversed. I feel like 
I'm seeing this a few ways. If something was unfair to this person, if it's like a legal situation, if it's a situation, just any situation, it could be honestly, where someone, there was something unfair. Um, I feel like this person is putting an effort into themselves, into working on something here. This person that you're dealing with, it's almost like, it's almost like they're working on themselves to to be able to to not make bad decisions like they made in the past you know or whatever was unfair to them like they were just like whatever i'm just going to focus on myself now with the two of cups this person could be thinking about again coming together with someone being with their soulmate um being in a partnership but with the Eight of Wands reversed, it's almost like there's no movement. Something here is blocked. A message has not been sent or delivered. Tell me about the Five of Swords reversed. What's this Five of Swords reverse? Wheel of Fortune. So divine timing is at play here. I feel like... There's going to be a change. Tell me more about this Five of Swords. Reverse, please. For Gemini. The Two of Wands, again. What else can you tell me about this Five of Swords reverse? So whatever they went... Yeah, Emperor's reversed. Wherever they went, whatever choice they made in the past, it was the wrong choice. And now they want to choose a different path. The Emperor's Reverse, this could be a, a partner uh, of a, typically a feminine energy. Um, it wasn't, there was no growth. There was nothing that was created over there that was worth anything. The investment was terrible. And this Empress energy, she tends to be controlling and smothering. Um, not a good partner to have. So I feel like this person, they've realized this in some way. You know, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. If this person was trying to prove a point, it backfired. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Knight of Swords reversed. Whew. There was a fight here. Words were exchanged whenever this person was caught. Magician. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords reversed. Page of Wands reversed. Hmm. Yeah, this person, um, they might have caught someone else doing something um, or they were caught doing something. And so they're, they're trying to manifest a new beginning for themselves and it's not happening. There's, there's blockages here. Um, there's possibly self-deception or dishonesty here with the Knight of Swords. Words have been exchanged. Whatever happened, there was a fight of some sort. And then it's like once that blew over or it didn't even matter if like the fight happened, this person still wanted to manifest a new beginning and this page of wands is reversed. So this is like not being able to complete anything you start. This person... I feel like they've been through like a battle of nothing working out for them. Like this person has really learned a tough lesson because nothing has happened the way that they were hoping it would or expecting it to. Maybe they can, you guys can see the cards a little bit better like that. So let's see, tell me about this world reversed. Tell me about the world reversed. 
Why is the world reversed for this person's spirit? Knight of Wands. So someone knows what they want. And there's that Ten of Cups. Yep. They want you, Gemini. They want emotional fulfillment. There possibly was, you know, based on whatever happened and how things didn't work out, it's like their focus is shifted to you. Tell me more about the world reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. That's very similar to this Emperor's reversed energy for me. I'm thinking they're the same person. I think this is the interference. This Emperor's reversed, this Queen of Pen Pentacles reversed. This could also mean that this person is not, is being selfish or needing to be selfish at this time. They're thinking only of themselves and their happiness at this time. Tell me more about this world reversed. Tell me more about this world reversed. Five of Pentacles. This person could also be having um, financial difficulties right now or is struggling. Um, this could also be that there's been distance between you, no communication. Um, there's been um, something lacking, you know? It's almost like someone's tired of being in this shutout. Someone doesn't want to be shut out anymore. You know, it's like they want closure or they want to start a new chapter and they, they're unable to. Tell me more about the world reversed. That's way too many. Tell me more about the world. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Cups, Emperor. So I feel like they, they want to take back control. They want to re restabilize something um the emperor cares about stability and order this is sign of aries here this person wants new love and i feel like this queen of pentacles is really upset about that or trying to to keep this person delay this person from starting a new beginning bottom of the deck six of pentacles reversed there's an unbalance here in this person's life. They're trying to rebalance their life in order to approach you because right now I feel like they think they have nothing to offer that's good enough for you, especially if what happened between you was them choosing someone else, you know? It's it's a it's a tough pill to swallow when you chose someone else and it turned out to blow up in your face, right? Like you 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 learn some humility. Um, so I feel like this person was humbled and they're trying to manifest a new beginning for themselves, a new cycle. They're trying to go after the, what makes them happy for once. Um, and, and when they do, it's almost like they, they, they want to be in a better place in life so that you don't reject them because I think they, in their mind, you have every reason to reject them. So... I'll leave it here, Gemini. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope it resonated with you. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in another video. Take care.